The Office of Naval Research, Innovations for the Future Force. Naval STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Our focus, our future. The Navy's role in STEM really starts with our warfighters. Our sailors and Marines in uh, the battle space need the technological advantage to fight the fight but also keep the peace. And to do that, we need to ensure that we have the scientists and the engineers that are doing the discovery, the development, and the delivery of those technological solutions. We know today that the basic science we funded 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago enable the Navy of today. If we want to keep moving forward, we need to invest today in basic science for the Navy of the future. If our military does not stay in the lead technologically, then our adversaries will catch up and our national security will be at risk. I think a lot of people ask, how does something work, but they don't ask why. And it's a burning question that I feel as though in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, we get to answer. There are two parts to Naval STEM, education initiatives that support students, and workforce initiatives that support current and future employees. Our education initiatives have a major focus on grades K through 12, and it's to inspire, engage, and educate them about the kinds of opportunities that they can have in the Naval s and workforce. We need all sorts of people to come and join us, especially in the STEM fields. And we need creative minds. A lot of the initiatives by the Naval Enterprise are looking at reaching out to individuals who might not know even that there's an opportunity for an engineering career or what an engineer does. The Naval STEM community offers a wide range of programs. At the Naval Academy, we've been fortunate enough to have a foundation support and Naval Academy support to offer a wide range of programs. We're now averaging about 19,000 students a year and over 800 to 1,000 teachers a year that we involve in workshops, fairs, camps, after school programs, mentorships, internships, uh, in a, a wide area of topics as well. There are many ways for high school and college students and currently employed professionals to work for and with the Navy Marine Corps' s and community. And Naval STEM also benefits higher education. Our workforce initiatives focus on undergraduate as well as graduate students, as well as professionals who are just starting their careers to make them aware of the kinds of opportunities and growth that they can achieve. For the undergraduates, you know, these are our future employees. For the graduates, these are our future researchers in our labs and really the leaders in our laboratories. We're interested in the full range of STEM students. There is a need and an opportunity for all of these students to be vital components of the Navy STEM effort. The opportunity to come work at a Navy lab, to be mentored by the leaders of today so they can become the leaders of the future is just an incredible experience. Mentorship is a key component to STEM. My experiences as a professional um, have been so positive that for me it's important to sort of prime the pump to make sure that those things continue with the, sort of the next generation. Naval STEM also works closely with key federal offices like the Department of Education, National Science Foundation, and Smithsonian Institution. There are grassroots efforts at Naval commands across the U.S and these provide students, mentors, and workforce members the opportunity to learn more about naval relevant STEM, as well as work side by side with naval scientists and engineers. Cassandra Martin wanted to become a nurse, fell in love with computer science, participated in an internship with the Naval Postgraduate School, where she's now pursuing her master's degree. Luckily, they have the Scholarship for Service program, which is funded by the National Science Foundation, which I applied to and got accepted. Now, Cassandra is planning a career in cybersecurity. The national security of the country depends on cybersecurity professionals to protect it. It's such an exciting field and the need for people to work in this field is great. And it's definitely a field that I see myself working in. Science is in like every part of our lives, like everything um, is based off physics, like life is based off biology and chemistry. It's literally the building block of like our existence and um, technology and engineering and math is like what keeps our world running. 
The best advice I think I can give to any kid who's thinking about doing a STEM camp or an internship or even just a, a short one day STEM program would be just try it. As an undergraduate, uh, I came to the Navy by chance. However, today uh, there are so many more uh, opportunities that the Navy provides to be involved uh, early on in Navy research. I feel really blessed. I'm really lucky. It's been a lot of hard work, but it's hard work that I take pleasure in doing, and I'm really excited for what's to come. So as a Navy civilian scientist, I have the best of every world. We're part of the team. I've ridden on ships, airplanes, submarines. I've ridden in tanks. I've done everything as a support person to try to figure out a way to make what they're using today better and what they're going to use in the future even more amazing. Personally, what STEM provides me is a great opportunity and a window to encourage and inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers to be able to solve hard problems and have fun doing it. For more information about Naval STEM opportunities, please contact the Office of Naval Research.